Right now, former candidate for city council, former Republican district leader. And let me say this, you know, to the other point. Ray's been a Democrat, I've been a Democrat. Marty Golden was a Democrat. You said Ronald Reagan, Donald Trump. There are so many people, my father was a Democrat. And, and, and I think Reagan said it best. You say Giuliani was a Democrat. You know, we all didn't leave the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party left us, and that's the truth. It no longer is the party of the working man, which was what my family was about. Let's give it up. Give it up. I got a follow-up. William, Brian, Tough, tough, tough. I got a couple questions. I'm not going to make a speech. Are we going to save our schools? Yes! Yes! Are we? Oh, so I'm Italian. I'm very loud. You guys gotta go. Are we gonna save our schools? Yeah. Are we gonna support our NYPD? Yeah. Are we gonna beat the bully from Bay Ridge, Justin Brad? Yeah. We gotta fire him. We gotta beat him. We gotta do whatever we gotta do. Listen, this is a good man. This is a guy that, whether he was a Democrat or Republican, he always answered the call. He governs with his heart. He governs with his brain, and that's why I am also proudly endorsing Ari Kagan tonight. For City Council. Yeah. But we have said it best, we all said it best. Guys, it doesn't end here. We can all leave this room, we can all go home, live our lives, but then the work doesn't get done. We gotta fight. Everybody. It's boots on the ground. We gotta play the same game, the same game Democrats play. Whether it be mail and ballots, whether it's getting petitions, whatever it is, we have a mission. We have to save our community, and it starts with this man right here, getting it on the ballot, winning the primary, and winning the general. Thank you. I, I know that Rene wanted to say something. Rene Mitchell. This lady is helping homeless people every day. When we're talking about homelessness crisis, it's a crisis created by Democratic Party in New York City. Believe me, I came to America in 1993 and I thought New York City will always have like legions of homeless people. And guess what? In the last year of Rudy Giuliani, there were very few homeless people in New York City and population in shelters was like half of today. So, which means if you want to uh, resolve homelessness crisis, elect Republicans. And, we, and it doesn't mean we are heartless people. We are volunteering for homeless shelters. And we help them homeless people every day. Renee Mitchell saving homeless people every single day. She takes care of people living in Queens, in Manhattan, in, in, in airports of homeless people because she cares about them. Thank you. My name is Renee Mitchell. Like um, Aaron Kagan said, I'm the co-chair of the policy committee for the National Commission of Homeless. I deal with homelessness in 50 states. I'm also executive director of my own nonprofit in Brooklyn called Breaking the Cycle Drive Court. Now his opponent, okay, I have to work with all parties be it independent, conservative, or Republican or Democrat. My experience with Justin Brannan and the homeless people is that he don't care. Okay, it's shelters being built every day in New York City. 800 bed shelters, 500 bed shelters, okay, 30 people in the room. Some people have medical problems, some people have mental health problems, some people have drug problems, and they're warehousing them like cattle. Okay, profit over human lives. $5,000 a month, okay, for each individual in the shelter. Affordable housing, okay, low-income housing, nothing is being built. Okay, streets are breaking up in Bath Beach, okay, sanitation problems. Homeless, unsheltered people all in front of storefronts. Who I have to go to to get services and help is Arian Kagan. He's not even in this district. It's Justin Brandon district. But Arian Kagan is the one that answers the call. Justin Branham, okay, inside trade deals, accommodation. Him, Bernard, okay, the public advocate, Brand, uh, Orlando, Dan Goldman, okay, all of them are a bunch of corrupt politicians. And in order for us to address the homeless Tsami, the crime Tsami, we have to vote these people out of office. Now, you heard Arian Kagan talk about crime. The reason why it's such a crime problem is because of the first bill by Kathy Hogan, which is called Less Than More. 
Lester Moore was the first bill she signed to the law, where 191 people was released from the, from the jail, 28 people back in the jail, and this bill, you can rob, steal, rape a person or whatever, and be out of jail the next day. Then they signed another policy in place, raise the age. Raise the age, okay, now career criminals Gang bangers, okay, can actually manipulate younger generations, okay, to have guns, to rob, to kill, to stab, rape, or whatever, knowing that there's not going to be no consequences because it's raised the age. And as long as they don't meet, meet that age expectation, they'll be released from jail with no consequences. So, the city is on a destruction, and if you people don't start rising up and demanding that these people be held accountable and they do their job, New York City will no longer be safe for any of us or our families, and, and the homeless problem will turn into Skid Row. Thank you, okay, and I hope that everybody come out and vote for Aaron Cable.